So a few days ago, I was scrolling to YouTube Shorts and this video pops onto my feed. I am Gen Z and nobody ever believes me. When my mom and I walk out in public, people think that my mom is my younger sister. As I liked the video earlier, YouTube starts to recommend me videos like this, this and this. In fact, there is a whole less trend going on TikTok about how old I look. So now the question is, is Gen Z actually aging faster than its previous generations or is it just some sort of social media trend? Well, in spite of being second most youngest generation, Gen Z is aging like milk. I mean, that's what internet is talking about. However, we still haven't found any scientific evidence regarding that. But interestingly, many people agreed to this common observation of prematuring aging of Gen Z. But why exactly this is happening? As a Gen Z myself, I dug deep into this matter and found out quite interesting yet seemingly normal reasons. Now, Gen Z is stressing out so badly, it might actually start to affect their whole aging process. And honestly, I don't blame them. Pandemic, post-pandemic depression along with economic uncertainties have taken a toll on Gen Z both mentally and physically. And according to an article by Time magazine, 91% Gen Z are facing tremendous stress. Even now it is getting into right colleges feels like insane competition. Apparently having a perfect GPA isn't enough anymore. You gotta excel in tons of extracurricular activities and a curated online presence just even your resume to stand out. Plus social media makes it seems like everyone's on fast track to Harvard. From parental pressure to internet showing toxic productivity culture sets the standards so high, it just burns the heck out with test anxiety and the pressure to getting right college. And according to a report by Lyson, 86% students are faced to in distress or anxiety even once during this insane college admissions. And the thing is it doesn't get any easier after graduation. Right now world is going through a huge recession and it has become much more difficult to get even an entry level job. Both academic stress and job insecurity is causing chronic stress among Gen Z and this chronic stress is affecting the release of telomeres, which is basically an enzyme that repairs and maintains telomeres. Now you may ask, what the hell are telomeres? Well, telomeres are basically these small protective caps present at the end of your each chromosome that stores your genetical vital data. Now, usually after each and every cell division, these telomeres get shorter and shorter. And when they can't get any more shorter, they become inactive and eventually die. And that's how basically we age. Now, due to chronic stress, the secretion of telomeres already decreases. And with less of these telomeres, our telomere shortening process becomes faster and faster. In other words, our whole aging process becomes faster. And that's why basically we see premature signs of aging like grey hair, bald spot or even wrinkles among stressed young adults or even teens. But that goes for circumstantial things. But what about our own choices? To the point Sensi is so much stressed, they are trying to escape and avoid their reality. And what's the fastest and quickest way of doing that? Scrolling to social media. And the thing is, scrolling to social media gives you dopamine every few seconds and boom, you don't even realize realize when it is 2 a.m. and your sleep schedule absolutely goes out of the window. According to a report by American Academy of Sleep Medicine, 93% of Gen Zers admit to staying up past their bedtime due to social media. An insufficient sleep schedule not only affects your premature cellular aging or body's natural healing process, but nothing is as bad as damaging your own lymphatic system. Well, think it of a system that removes toxin in your brain and fluid build up around your eyes during your sleep. And if your sleep schedule is absolutely screwed, your lymphatic system may not be able to do its job properly. And consequences? Next day you won't just wake up with dark circles under your eyes, but also aging your brain prematurely. In age of social media's latest trends like clean girl aesthetic, sleek girl aesthetic, Korean glass skin aesthetics, and also availability of a wide range of skincare products, literally hypnotize Gen Z to do multi-step insane skincare routines. And according to Statista, skincare industry worth around 186 billion US dollars in 2023 alone. In spite of doing all of that, Gen Z is aging poorly. While using cleansers with hard sulfate, highly concentrated alcohol-based toners does not only disrupt your skin lipids but also breaks down your collagen production and elastin fibers which actually keeps your skin firm and tight. And social media might make you feel like you need gazillions of serums. But the reality is, if you go overboard with this active potents like AHA, BHA and retinol frequently, first of all it will damage your microbiomes which might actually affect your skin's natural repairing process 
and secondly it will make your skin much more uv sensitive and irritated in simple words it will make your skin much more prone to fine lines and wrinkles and if you are thinking that you are safe from sunscreens let me bust that bubble in fact some companies use ingredients like oxybenzone oxynoset benzophenone 3 which can absolutely damage your skin cells and tissues especially in thin skin areas not only just that there is always some sort of trend going on social media about someone getting botox fillers or even cosmetic procedures everyone's on a rat race to look like 25 forever and the saddest thing is girls in their late teens or even early 20s are opting for these insane procedures so i reached out to a local cosmetic clinic in my area and the stats are straight up upsetting. Like one third of their clients are under 30s, among them 58% go for Botox, 71% different kinds of filler, and 32 different cosmetic procedures. And the thing is Botox can give you a smooth looking skin for a while, but if you overdo it or your surgeon misplaces it, your face will totally end up looking like a mask, totally expressionless. The more you use it, it gets only worse. Cause it blocks a neurotransmitter called acetylcholine, which makes your muscles move. With less of it, your face muscles will not move properly and become weak and saggy, giving it a more mature looking appearance. Now, fillers are generally hyaluronic acid, which gives volume to your skin but doesn't strengthen itself. If you overdo it, it will stress the hell out of your skin, damaging your collagen and elastin fibers which may also result in older looking appearance. Additional fillers can move from places to places, which might give you a puffin distorted looking appearance. But nowadays people are even ready to go under knife to get that snatch fella hadit look. And the thing is if you go few times under knife, it will become an obsession. There will be always something to fix. And in the process your face might end up with scars, damaged skin texture or even nerve damage, which will totally give uncanny valley vibes. You may be 22, but you will end up looking like 42. According to Star Magazine, Sensu spends more than 7 hours on average per day, be it personal or professional purposes. And this constant staring at screen not only giving you eye strain or eye fatigue, but also ages you prematurely. Now you may ask, how? The answer is blue light emission. Well, blue light emitting from your digital devices penetrate deep inside your screen and create reactive oxygen species, or simply we can call them free radicals. Now, normally your body fight up these bad boys with antioxidants, but too much screen time means too much blue light, and too much blue light means too much free radicals. And if there is imbalance between your body's ability to produce antioxidants and this free radical, this will result in oxidative stress. And this oxidative stress can eventually damage your DNA protein lipid, and that's the reason we see so many youngsters nowadays having premature signs of aging like grey hair, dark skin, or even tech neck. And according to an article by BrevMT, even short amount of screen time like an hour can trigger these changes. Even when you chill on social media and see these young people living lavish lifestyles, constant humorism, someone selling products in names of your hopes and dreams and whatnot, literally to the point it stresses the hell out of you. And when you are constantly stressed, your body releases cortisol to cope. But the thing is, if you are constantly stressing out all the time, your system gets flooded with cortisol. And over time, it will result in low gait inflammation, which will not only disrupt your collagen production or elastin fibers, but also damages your body's natural healing process. And that's the basically reason we can see chronic stress can show up as wrinkled, dull skins or even grey hair. Now you may ask, is it only Zen Z working or studying that hard? Have other generations gone through the same thing? Well, the thing is when other generation did those things, social media was not around or just blooming. But Gen Z was born into that social media frenzy and keep getting influenced directly and indirectly. Now Gen Z thinks salads but ends up eating fries. I mean, that's what surveys are saying. When according to a report by Mintel, more than 60% of Gen Zers eat fast food more than once a day. And food delivery apps are just adding fuel to these binge eating habits of Sensi. But the thing is this ultra processed food contain excessive amount of sugar, salt, unhealthy fats, additives, preservatives and whatnot, which can cause inflammation and oxidative stress, which will only further accelerate our whole aging process. Even though binge drinking have been lured among Sensi, but smoking and skyrocketing these days, which plays a major role in giving premature looking appearance to youngsters. Well, smoking contains multiple toxins such as tar, carbon monoxide, various carcinogens, which can actually harm your chromosomes and speed up the telomere shortening procedure. And as a matter of fact, you already know how telomere shortening is related to premature cellular aging. Even 
is marketed as less harmful and the new cool thing, it also plays a key role in giving premature looking appearances as it involves inhaling a vaporized e-liquid which generally contains nicotine and propylene glycol which can cause skin dehydration and disrupted collagen production. Until now, Izumi already gets the consequences. In spite of all that buzz that Sensei is edging like milk, Professor Meredith Jones, a cultural theorist at Brunel University, claims that it is biologically impossible for Zenzi to age faster. It's just a small group of celebrities or influencers that going for that slick put together look, which gives up mature vibes. Another generation researcher, Ruthi Kermas, also claims that it is very unlikely for Zenzi to age faster. It's just due to their styling choices they appeared older. Plus, we gotta keep in mind that everybody's aging process is different and also depends on various factors such as genes, lifestyle choices, stress level, environmental adversities. In my opinion, if we look in same aspects to the younger adults who had gone through World War I or World War II or some sort of major kind of trauma, we can definitely see that they have aged much more maturely than their biological age. And the good thing is since is much more about, about this aging saga. According to a report by NY Post, Almost 75% Gen Zers are much more health conscious than its previous generations. But the thing is it should come from aspects of self-love and acceptance, not from fear of aging. The smile lines you always worried about means you had plenty of great time. The cross fruit or frown lines on your forehead means you feel things with emotions or even your pores cause it's real. Not like this or any other videos cause I am using filming lights and little bit of color grading. And my dear Gen Zers. Your life doesn't end at 30s, 40s or even 50s. Regardless that, aging is a beautiful process and many don't even get to experience. So next time be a little bit kinder to yourself. Well, Zen says aging like milk or not is a still debatable topic. But Zen Alpha is definitely growing up faster than they should. Check out this video to find out more.